fun. What's up guys? Today we're talking about shooting gas. We're gonna show you how to set up a flow meter, a regulator, and the bank system. So today we're running some 9010. Uh, each bottle is gonna have a label on it, or should have a label that indicates what type of gas is in it. So we got some 9010 gas here, and we're gonna show you guys how to set it up. So if you guys will come over here a little bit closer, you'll see this first gauge shows us how much pressure is in the tank or the volume of the tank. And it is uh, dialed out in PSI, pounds per square inch. So what we want to do is shielding gas, we want to turn our valve on all the way, 100%. Now when this bottle is full, it can have up to 2200 PSI in it. Once a bottle gets below 500, it's on its way to empty. Each bottle is built a little bit different, so it's not to say every bottle is going to be empty after 500. This bottle, as you can see, is completely empty, uh, so that's no good. But now that we have our bottle turned on, we can take the needle valve, crack it open, and it's going to let the ball flow on our flow meter. We get our machine turned on, and then what we'll do is we just pull the trigger, and it's going to let the gas come out, and you can see the ball will float. So as we pull the trigger, we can open that needle valve up to get more gas or turn it down, to shut off the gas. And that's all it is to setting, setting up a flow meter. Works the same way with the TIG machine. You either hit the foot pedal to strike, strike an arc, or if it's on scratch start, you can scratch it. When you get done at the end of the day, we'll make sure we turn that bottle all the way off so it doesn't leak out. Now we're gonna move over to a regulator. Pretty similar. Now as you can see, it's got two gauges on it. First gauge again shows us the bottle pressure or the volume that's left in the bottle, reads in PSI. We will turn this bottle on all the way. And you can see this bottle is also empty, um, but I don't know why. The next gauge is gonna show us what we're regulating that pressure down to. It is measured in PSI as well, where the flow meter was measured in cubic feet per hour, CFH. We then take the valve, we just keep spinning that in until it raises pressure on our gas flow right here. And typically we would want that between uh, 10 to 35, uh, somewhere in there, depending on what the application is. For some reason, this bottle is empty. I should have checked that before we started this video. Same thing, you turn that in, set your pressure, and then you can pull the trigger Make sure the pressure is maintained, but we can actually set this without pulling the trigger on the machine or striking the arc with the TIG torch. Now we're going to move on down to the last setup. Now luckily here at Drake, we have a bank system, which means we have bulk tanks that automatically mixes up the gases for us, saves us a lot of money as a school. Now the bank system is piped into each machine, and it has a simple check ball valve that you just turn on and it automatically regulates that pressure down to what we need, and when you get done, you turn it off. Very simple to use, very cost effective for us. But we also have flow meters and regulators set up to show you guys how it would set up in the real world because not everywhere you work is going to have a bank system. And that's it for setting up shilling gases on different machines. Thanks, guys.